So to determine our trigonomic ratios, we need to decide which angle we're focusing on, and that determines the ratio setup. In this example, I'm going to be focusing on this angle. And then what you need to think about is how the legs of the triangle are associated to that angle. Um, the longest leg straight across from the 90 degree angle is always the hypotenuse. Then the way you find adjacent is it has to be the other leg of the angle. So the hypotenuse is one leg, and then this is the other leg of this angle, so this would be called adjacent. And then the one across from it that isn't part of the angle is called the opposite. That's because it's across from it, it's opposite of it, and this is right next to it or adjacent to it. So that's another way you can think of it. Now we have three ratios. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. So sine of the angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine, and we'll call this theta, is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And then finally, tangent is opposite over adjacent. And again, it all has to do with the orientation of the angle. So if I chose my angle to be over here instead, well now this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. Because the adjacent has to be a leg of the triangle and opposite has to be across from it not being a leg of the triangle. These are still the same, these are always the same. It just depends on where you're choosing the, which angle to look at.